Let's introduce the wiring between AWD-121C conventional power supply box and AWCFP-2166 conventional fire alarm panel. First, open the panel. We need to connect 24V input power from the panel to AWD-121C power supply box so that the interface board can work normally. We need to connect the resettable 24V power supply from the interface board of the panel to the power board of the power supply box. The terminal is connected to the 24V input control of the power supply box. Next, connect a smoke detector. We need a 4-wire conventional smoke detector. Here, we are using AWCSD 381-4W 4-wire smoke detector. Because only one smoke detector is connected here, we need to connect a 6.8K resistor to the end. Connect a 470 ohm resistor in series with the connection wire between the smoke detector and the panel, making sure that the panel can report fire normally. Terminals 2 and 3 of the smoke detector are connected to the panel, and terminals 5 and 6 are connected to the power supply box to its 24V output control. Besides, because we are using the 24V input control, we need to dial the dial 3 from off to on. In this way, it's like enabling an input control. When there is 24V power going into the power supply box, the smoke detector will work. When the 24V power supply is disconnected, the smoke detector will be reset. Next, we will do the test. Since the two devices are not put in the batteries, they are reporting battery faults. We can see that the smoke detector is working normally. Now let's try to make the smoke detector alarm. The small detector alarms, showing that the devices and the wiring are both in place.